Hey everyone, in today's video, I am going to review the Art Graft Halide Water Soluble Graphite that's made by this company called Viaco. So I got to know about this when I saw my friend using it while sketching and I was intrigued by it. So I bought this limited palette set with three colors. We have red, yellow and blue. The color selection is actually very limited. They have black and some earth tones and that's about it. So this graphite is a hard piece of graphite that is housed in this material. I think this is the same material that is used to make wine corks. From what I have read, this material is water impermeable. So if you want to bring these pieces around, you can use this holder. Don't throw away the packaging or you can find some other container to store them. I think this is nice because it keeps the colors separate. So each piece can be held in hand. They were designed like that because the company was inspired by traditional tailor's chalk. So let's see how water soluble they are. I'm going to draw with them first and then see if they dissolve in water and then use the blocks, the pieces as if they are watercolor pens. This is quite dry but I can see some of the pigment has already gotten onto my hand. And this is the yellow. The colors look quite strong, quite vibrant. And this is the blue. I'm not sure of the exact pigment that is used to create the colors, but these are supposed to be graphite. So to have such colors, it's quite unusual. So my fingers are already stained with some of the pigment. I'm going to wash my hand first. They do wash off quite easily. So if you want to use them for drawing, you can do so, but prepare to get your hands dirty. This paper that I'm using, this is Dale Rowney's Aquafine paper. I'm using this paper because it's very white. And this seems to be able to dissolve quite easily. I can still see some of the graphite texture. So I've just washed my brush to have some clean water so that I can dilute this to try and fit this into the white of the paper. And this is the yellow and it's really intense. If you tell me this is graphite, I wouldn't believe you. And lastly, we have this blue. This blue looks like a phthalo blue or cobalt. Again, the color is very strong. The colors, they look great. So if you are going to draw with them on rougher paper or cold press watercolor paper, you're going to see a lot of texture. You're going to see a lot of white of the paper. But if you are just going to use them as watercolor pens, then I suppose they don't perform any different compared to watercolor pens. Now that the wash is dry, I can see some of the graphite has not dissolved completely. So it would dissolve readily, but if you want to dissolve it completely, you really do need to go over it a few times or go over it with a stiffer brush. So now let's use the colors to color this sketch. So I have my plastic palette here that I can use for mixing because I don't want to dirty the colors. So this is the skin tone that I have mixed using the three colors. It's very nice. I like the color. I like that it's very transparent as well. Since the colors are quite intense, you can actually just wet the piece a bit and dab slightly and you would have a very strong color. This means the graphite pieces, they are going to last a pretty long time. And these are quite big pieces. I don't see the usual graphite sheen. You know, sometimes when you look at graphite under certain angles, you can see that it can be quite shiny, but here I don't really see that. This really behaves very much 
and looks very much like watercolor. And because it behaves very much like watercolor, when the wash is still wet, you can charge in colors. Because there is no pigment information, I have no idea whether or not these colors are going to be light fast unless I do some testing. Let's mix a green and see what we have. So this is, this looks like some sort of sap green color. Very nice. Behaves really similar to actual watercolors. And now I'm going to mix a gray using the three colors. Let's see what we have here. You can definitely get some sort of neutralized color. And I really like the way the colors blend into one another. And lastly, let's see if we can mix a very dark black. So this is the color that I get when mixed, when mixing the three colors together. You can still see some sort of color in it. It's not like totally black. Sometimes when you have a black that is just black, it can look quite boring. So this is very nice. I'm going to have a bit more blue in this. So I think if when you add more blue to it, it will become cooler, obviously, because more blue and this black now, it looks even nicer, closer to the one that I wanted. If you have too much red and yellow, your black is going to look a bit muddy. So while the colors are quite vibrant, they are still considered more like light to mid tone in terms of value so in order to make it more vibrant let me just go over it with another layer so here i may want to darken the area so because the wash is very transparent you can go over your initial layer very easily and you can still retain the transparency this is the purple you can get with the red and blue it's a bit muted but it looks nice just for comparison purposes i'm going to paint some actual graphite beside this mix that i have here so this is also made by viaco this is their water soluble graphite actual graphite so you can see the graphite texture you can see granulation and you don't see any color in this wash at all. This is how the graphite looks when diluted. Now I have the graphite under the sun. I'm not sure if you can see the graphite sheen. There are some shiny particles. As for the colored graphite, I do see some shiny particles, but it's not as obvious compared to the real graphite. And you can only see it when there is strong sunlight. I don't mix graphite with watercolor. And in this case, I won't mix graphite with these colors because graphite, when you mix it with other colors, it really kills the vibrancy. So in this case here, these colors are best used when mixed among themselves and this is a very nice limited color palette i like the color mixes i can get with this set the mixes you can get they are not extra bright or vibrant i like the mixes i can get with this set the colors they are not extra vibrant or glaring so for example with this green this is slightly muted so when i mix yellow and blue i have this green that looks just right 
It is not easy to mix a very dark color using these three colors unless you use a lot of paint or in this case a lot of graphite and when the wash dries it will become lighter and you can still see the line art so these three colors they are great for use with pen and ink so you can still see the line art show through beneath the colors and here i remember painting this really dark but when it's dry you can still see the line art show through because this has lightened if you want to get the darker values maybe you can get the black color but i don't have that so i can't say how good it is when it comes to mixing with these three colors overall i am very satisfied with the quality of this product they actually perform no different compared to watercolor pens and with this limited set of colors the mixers that you can get they are very harmonious they work very the colors they work very well together the price of this set is around us 20 dollars the last time i checked on amazon the price will of course depend on where you buy it I will put some links in the video description below to where you can purchase this if you are interested to get a set for yourself. You can check out more reviews through those links. Those links are actually affiliate links so if you buy something through them I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. So that's all for today's review. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!